Hey guys, uh, so today I'm just going to show you my No Make No Life box that I got. Um, I actually didn't know that it shipped, but it came, so that was a nice pleasant surprise. Um, and so I'll just go ahead and show you what I got this month. And for those of you that don't know, the No Make No Life is a Japanese beauty subscription. And ever since I can remember, probably my teenage years, high school years, I've really been obsessed with Japan and Japanese culture. I'm a total weeb. Um, and I used to actually go to um, Japanese stores like Mitsua, you may be familiar with that, um, and buy uh, like face washes. Uh, I think there was one that I actually used to buy that I actually got in this subscription a few months back, and it's naive or naive or however you pronounce it. And it has like a peach on it. It's a really popular um, Japanese uh, beauty brand. Um, so it was kind of cool to try that out again. Um, so yeah, uh, this month I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the items that I got. And to show you the box real quick. What it looks like, everything that's in there. And the first one here is this cleansing oil. It's a honey and sunflower oil. That's what that looks like. Um, I had actually gotten uh, the same exact brand. This uh, I can't read Japanese, so I can't tell what brand this is. But this Honey and Sunflower Oil uh, brand. Also, uh, I had gotten um, this in a, I think, a, it's like a cleansing toner. Uh, yeah, it was a toner. So this is the cl actual cleansing oil. And the other one was like a toner with the same exact type of concept here, the honey and sunflower oil. Um, so I guess this is the wash and the other one is more like a moisturizing toner type thing. Um, so yeah, this will be cool to try out. Um, I really like uh, the fact that No Make includes a lot of face washes. I feel like I have plenty of them. I never run out. Um, so that's cool. They always send something cool like that. And the next item here, I actually saw this on one of their spoiler posts. This is a like a glossy eyeshadow wear. Um, this this thing right here, um, right here is supposed to be glitter. And I guess this stuff you use uh, as like the primer, like the base, and then you use the you put this glitter stuff over it um, to kind of show you behind here kind of the steps to that. So that's cool. I really uh, love glittery eyeshadows, um, things that really just make your eyes pop. I've always kind of been obsessed with the pigment and eyeshadows, so this will be really cool. This next one is, um, this looks like a compact to me. I thought this was like some sort of like blush or uh, like face powder, um, but this is a body powder, and I guess it's supposed to smell like shampoo, at least from what I read on the insert. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like, and it looks like, you know, just like, uh, um, the lighting isn't the best, but it looks just like a, uh, like, um, like a tinted cream colored face powder is what that looks like, but it says body powder, so I don't know, I've never really used body powder, um, but what does it say, it says, it's, uh, this brand is actually called Fiance, yep, Fiance. Um, let's see, it is a fresh shampoo, shampoo scented body powder. It's translucent and provides many benefits such as SPF 23 UV protection. And, um, yeah, I guess it's supposed to hold in moisture. Um, yeah, it's not meant to be, it's important to note, this is not meant to be used on your face. This is only, uh, a body product which that'll be interesting uh, very interesting um, I would have thought it looks like something that you would put on your face but it's a body powder that's interesting um, so yeah that's cool and the next couple items here they always seem to send a face mask um, this is the chocolate mint face mask I'm not a huge fan of uh, like mint scents or flavors uh, but they actually sent a like a lip uh, mask that was in this scent. Um, 
So maybe, you know, maybe it'll be cool. I'm, I'm just generally not a huge fan of mint, so it'll be interesting. Uh, so that's that one. And this one is a Mochi Peru face mask. There's that one. It's like you see like little strawberries. It's a dessert face mask. Um, so that's that. And let's see if it says anything about it in here. I only, yeah, okay, it does say something. Um, it's a strawberry mochi. That's kind of what it looks like in the photo. Um, so it's like kind of a smoothing mask. Um, and you leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. So typical mask, uh, like a mochi strawberry type scent. Um, so that's cool. Two face masks this month. And then the last item I got here is, um, and I can always use more of these, is a uh, an eyelash curler. And it actually comes with these little things. That's kind of nice because whenever I buy these, I never get the little things that go into them. And like, usually by the time I get rid of these things, they're all like goopy and like have dried mascara on the little cushion here. Um, so it's kind of nice that they include some with it because I've never actually tried to change out one of these. Um, so yeah, that's that. And that was pretty much it for my No Make No Life box. Let's see if there's anything that um, I was missing. Uh, oh, I guess there's two. Di there was two different colors um, for the uh, for the eyeshadow and the eye gloss. That's what they call it? Two and one. One of two colors. So. Mine looks like it's white, um, but it's kind of like, looks like it's blue in this picture. Uh, I can't really tell. Oh, I guess you can put it on your nails, too. Uh, when you paint your nails, looks like it works for, um, for nails, too, if you can see that. So, that is that one. And, yeah, I guess it's pink or, like, uh, the bluish color. And I'm glad I got blue because um, I'm more of a fan of blue than I am pink. So that was it for my No Make Blue Life box. I'll just show you some other mail that I got real quick. And that, the first one here is this Double Bastard Hot Sauce. It's uh, by Stone Brewing. Um, you may have heard of the Arrogant Bastard Ale, um, and it's sort of like that, but it's in a hot sauce. And let me tell you, this hot sauce is freaking awesome. Uh, it's just, it tastes really good. I paid $17 for this, including shipping for uh, a 10 ounce bottle. Usually they, in like cost plus, they've only sold these in like a five ounce bottle. Um, but I haven't seen it there, and I'm like, I really just wanted a really good quality hot sauce. Um, so my brother, who um, is going to be actually working for Stone, um, he told me just to go online and order it on the website because you could get the, the, the one that's twice the size um, for only a, just a little bit more. So that's what I went and did. I'm really excited for this. I was actually going to sign up for another subscription. I forget what it was called, um, but it was like a hot sauce subscription. And I kept having errors like with their checkout. I actually went and try to use a $10 off deal that they had. Um, but I kept getting like weird errors. I tried several different credit cards and it just wasn't working properly. And then it said that like I had an account um, and I, I emailed somebody and I don't know, it's just kind of weird. It, it kind of like, it's a cool concept, but if, you know, if it's going to be that much of a pain to, you know, to, you know, get the subscription going, then I don't even know if I want to deal with it. So I didn't end up going through with it. So that's that. Oh, also, I wanted to talk to you guys about the 23andMe. Uh, I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Everybody's doing it. Um, it's uh, like a, a company that will analyze your DNA once you send in a sample and tell you about uh, your ancestry. And there's a couple of different companies that are doing it. The, the first one's 23andMe, and the other one that I know of is Ancestry.com, I believe. Um, there may be others too, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised, um, but I decided to try it with the 23andMe. They had a holiday $50 off each uh, special, 
and I, I went ahead and just like, okay, I'm going to do this, right? Um, you know, I got some Christmas money, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and splurge on this, uh, get that holiday deal. Um, so my husband and I are both doing it. Uh, instead of like 400 bucks, it was only 300 bucks, and that's for the the, the ancestry DNA and then also uh, possible health risk factors um, that you may have or be genetically predisposed to. It also includes some lengthy reports on that. Um, I believe like lactose intolerance, sickle cell disease, uh, things you may not even have, but you might actually be a carrier for. Um, so it was a little bit extra. I think the just the base ancestry only kit, I think is about so $79 on sale. I think it was regularly 99. And the ancestry plus health reports, uh, I believe are about 200. Um, and then those actually were $50 off and the regular ones were about 20 bucks off uh, with the sale. So, um, and I know heart disease runs in my dad's side of the family. Um, so that's something that I really uh, was especially interested in. Um, my dad actually had a test done um, to find out if he was genetically predisposed to heart disease, and he is. Um, I think it's they look for calcification around the heart, and we all know calcium is good for your bones, but it's not something that you want in your heart, um, and that's usually something that's an indicator of um, heart disease, you know, if you don't manage your lifestyle, if you're not exercising, you're not eating well, you know, you're more likely to develop heart disease. And just because, you know, heart disease is, the, at least in America, uh, heart disease is the number one cause of death. Um, so that's something that I really wanted to check out also. Um, and, you know, my husband being a part Pacific Islander and part Caucasian, uh, wanted to look into his as well, just kind of see what his background is. Um, so that'll be cool. Uh, we're really excited about that. Um, just kind of seeing if some of the things that we, you know, we may already know that we're genetically predisposed to and things that we know we may not know about. So um, that'll be really interesting to find out. And it's actually very simple. So I'll just go ahead and show you this kit here. That's what it looks like. And um, it's actually very simple. You have to go to the website and register your collection tube, and uh, then you just follow. They give you like some little uh, instructions. I haven't opened this yet, and I guess you spit in the tube, and you mail it back to them with the prepaid label that they uh, include in this box. Um, and then they analyze the sample, and of course, uh, I guess the reports will be in your online account uh, once they're completed with them. And I think the process takes about maybe four to six weeks or so uh, for them to do that. So it's actually very easy. I thought I was going to have to go through this process to, you know, I know they, they collect a sample from you, but I thought it was going to be like a more complicated process. It's, it's basically from what it says here, it's as simple as spitting in a tube and mailing it back to them. That's super simple, right? Um, so yeah, I got the health and, anst health and ancestry version. So it includes, you know, complex reports of, you know, things you may be a carrier about. So, you know, if you're, you know, worried about uh, things that you may, uh, you may be a carrier of, um, if it's like sickle cell disease, there's certain things that, um, you know, if you're going to have kids and, you know, uh, they may be predisposed to it, there might be a chance that you might pass it on. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people will um, do these kits. And they're actually very reliable. There's a lot of good articles out there you want to do your research to you know see how effective they are and they're they're pretty effective so oh i mean for me personally i'm just you know interested in managing my health better i want to know more about my roots and ancestry and you know certain things like that um but i know for some people they do these because you know um, they're worried about certain genetic conditions that they're worried about passing on to their kids or something. Um, so that's cool. I, you know, I really recommend trying it out if you have, you know, some some extra money and you wanted to get this tried out. I think it's a good investment just to kind of know, you know, your background. And if you want to add the health portion, I think it's worth it. Um, you know, but some people, they just want to know where they, where they come from. So some people just do that. Um, so that's cool. I'm really excited about that. And I'll probably do a video talking more about that once I get those results. Um, so look for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.